Hey guys, Kunanja here, and today welcome back to a brand new video. And today I'm going to be going through how to make an ARC server. Uh, so, yeah, so the first thing you want to do is you want to create a new folder called ARC server. You want to click enter like that. And then what you want to go and do is you want to download Steam CMD, and I'll leave this link in the description below so you guys can download it. Um, so, if you're on Windows, you want to click this link here. If you're on Linux, you want to go through the steps and if you're on a Mac, you just want to download it from there. But most people are on Windows, so and I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows version. Um, and what you want to do is you want to open this, and you just want to drag and drop it into your folder, pretty much extracting it in. You can close this now. You want to open this, and you just want to run it. It'll take about 10 seconds and it'll just put all the files in this folder that you need. Alright, so now it's done, we can just click off here. And now what you want to do is, you want to create a new text document. So you can do this by right clicking, new, and text document. And uh, my PC doesn't always register as batch files, so if yours doesn't, I'll tell you how to do it. But you just want to call it um, arc server dot bat, and it probably won't recognize it as a bat server at first. So what you want to do is you just want to open this. It may do, and if it does, that's good. You want to open this, and you want to copy and paste this, and I'll leave this in the description below. So you just want to copy that, and you want to paste it in. And here you want to put your Steam username. So mine is this. Well, Steam account name. And mine is this. And your password. So I'm just going to pause the video here while I put my password in. So I'll be back in a second. Actually, before I put my password in, um, am I? yeah, I am. Before I put my password in, uh, this bit's quite important as well. What I want to do here um, is this is where you're going to install all the files needed so you want to click on the arc server folder here and you just want to copy and you want to go into here and uh, just between the two colons colons um, speech marks uh, you want to copy and paste it into there like that and then you want to put your password in so I'm going to pause the video while I do that and then once you've done that um, you can just um, well I'll tell you what to do so I'll be back in a second alright guys so I've just covered my password there and if it's not automatically a batch file what you can do is you can just click here um, file save as and you can just name it arc server one um, in the arc server folder which you created earlier on where you put your steam cmd you can just click save and now what you want to do is I'm just going to pause the video again while I close that uh, while I close this so you can't see my password and I'll be back in a second and now what you want to do is uh, you just want to run this arc server one folder or arc server if it worked for you the first time but if it didn't you just want to run your arc server one folder uh, like this so I'll run through steam cmd and it asks for a Steam Guard code, so you can do this by going onto your email. Uh, so you go onto your Gmail. And I'm just going to pause the video while I get mine, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. So once you put it in, you just want to click enter, and it should work. It should say login. Yeah, logged in, okay. And if you don't know how to get your Steam Guard code, oh yeah, I think I just told you, but you go on your email and uh, this your Steam account email and it should automatically just send you one. Uh, it's like a five, five digit, um, yeah, five digit code and um, it just allows, it just, in just for security reasons really. And if you're wondering why I'm talking a bit like weird, it's because I'm quite tired. Um, and yeah, it'll pre allocate space and it's, I think it's 14 gig file. So while it downloads, I'm going to pause the video and I will see you guys in about 10, well not even 10 seconds, I'll see you guys in a second when it's downloaded. Alright, so it took a bit longer than I expected, it was about 45 minutes. So um, once it's done, it should automatically close off and what you want to do now 
is you want to go into Steam Apps, which should have been created uh, by starting up this, obviously. And you want to keep this because you can, every time there's an update for Arc, you can double tap it, well, double click it, well, open it, and it should install the update. Um, and yeah, so what you want to do now is go in Steam Apps, Common, Arc, Shooter Game, Binaries, Win64, and you want to create another text document called not folder um, an idiot to delete that uh, you want to create another text document and you want to call it um, start server it'll probably uh, it won't probably recognize its batch file because it never does yeah it doesn't so you just want to open it and now this is where you set up your like admin password well the start of it uh, you start your admin password and stuff, so you want to copy it and you want to put it in there like that. Let's put it to the top, hang on. Let's get rid of it and put it at the top. Why is it not going to the top? Should work. Oh, wait, wait. No, oh, it's not going to the top, I don't know why. It doesn't really matter though. And right, so um, here you want to choose your server password, so let's just call this test and let's also call the admin password test and then the server name we can call what you want so in this instance I'm going to call it test server and you want to match it up to your server password here which is test and test and max players um, can have let's say 10 um, you can keep it to 5, but also guys, you can host non-dedicated servers now, but they're pretty pointless because you have to be in 200 meters of range with each other, and if you're on a public server across the world, then this is definitely a lot better than 200 meters. So then what you want to do is, of course, you want to save as, I'm just going to call it start server, start server 1, dot bar. If you're wondering why I'm not overwriting it, because it, it never reads it when I overwrite it. So you want to do that, you can now close this, and you can now run it and I'll just give it a minute it'll start running and my PC usually takes around 380 seconds but if you've got a really good PC like my friend it's called Gaffers, it only took him 70 seconds to full start up my laptop is a pretty good laptop, it's got like 16 gig of RAM it's got a 860M but it just takes a lot longer to start up, it's got an i7 as well but I'm not sure why some of the PCs are faster at starting up the server than some others but it doesn't really matter, it takes about 5 minutes to well about maximum 5 minutes so I will be uh, back with you guys when it does full start up so it'll be like a second so I'll show you in a minute alright guys so I'm back as you can see it took 289.78 seconds to start up so what we're going to do now is we're just going to close it and now what you want to go and do is this is to get cheats to work because I had a big struggle again trying to, trying to get cheats to work um, on this so what you want to do is you want to go on saved config windows server and you just want to open game user settings and you'll be able to see all this um, hang on, let me just right so have I just got, yeah, you want to get rid you want to get rid of all of that so you want it to, it's going to be blank like that and I'll either put this as a media file link or or like this text document, or I'll either comment, put it in the uh, put it in the description below because it's quite a long description if it is, but I'll probably be able to do it. And what you want to do is you want to copy this all the way down. Could Control C, but I don't want to. Uh, and you want to go on this. Make sure you make sure you're top, and you can just do that, and it will put all this in and now this is where you configure your admin password and stuff like that so um, this is also a port you need to port forward this will make it so people can actually connect and I'll tell you the other ports to port forward um, in, on the screen now and I'll also go through how to do it um, so as you can see here server password uh, which is test and admin password 
She's also test. Wait, did I just do something then? Yes, I did. So, I mean, password, which is also test. And then down here, uh, your yeah, I mean, password is obviously test. Well, for me, it is whatever yours is you put in. And this is also test. And then, uh, max players is 10. Um, difficulty I'll set zero, which is just like normal, it's not hardcore. And then you are pretty much done. This is pretty much all completed now. And I'll tell you how to port forward. Um, it, you just have to port forward the ports that are on screen now. I'll also leave them in the description. I'm just making sure I've copied everything through which seems to be that I have done and now you can just go ahead and save that and I can minimize that and now you have pretty much com uh, completely and successfully set up your own arc server so now what we're going to go and do is we're going to run start server 1 which is what you always run when you want to go on your arc server um, you can do it 24-7 but it requires a VPS and it'd be pretty expensive because you need 14 gigs plus of memory uh, which is pretty expensive per month but if I ever do get a 24-7 one I'll do a tutorial on how to do it on a VPS but uh, it will be pretty expensive to do it but um, when this is loaded full start up I will go on to arc and show you that everything works and how to enable cheats and stuff like that and I will also like tell you guys how to port forward I've already port forwarded but I'll go through a video on how to do it well I'll add it to the end of this video how to do it so I will see you guys in a second again I've said that like 10 times but you know yeah. Alright guys, as you can see, the server successfully started up, full start up, 249.81 seconds. So we're going to go ahead and minimise that, and I'm now going to open Fraps and show you guys, uh, like, the servers all working and stuff. So I will see you in around 2 seconds. Yay. Alright, so hey guys, um, I'm back. And I'm pretty sure this is a server, it's called the XI, because I forgot to change the session name. And I don't know why there's only 5 players in, but I'm pretty sure this is a server. So we click join and then the uh, password was always test. We click accept. As you can see it is joining. I'll tell you how to fix the EXI um, uh, in a minute. But um yeah, so everything does work. Um, I'm not sure why it's only five slots, but you can always fix that. Um, it's not too big a worry. Um, I'll try and find out why it's doing it. But as you can see the arc server is loading up now. Um, usually, if you're on show password protected servers, it'll be always at the top. And uh, yeah, so I'll show you how to fix the XI. Um, I know why it is doing it. And yeah, but I'll show you how to enable cheats and stuff first. Um, and yeah, so I'll let it load up. Take about probably two minutes to load up. Uh, so. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why it is 5 slots, I did put 10, I probably didn't change it somewhere in the settings, but I will fix that, don't worry. Uh, and I'm going to be also showing you guys how to port forward after this. Uh, but, yeah. If you've not got the same router, all routers are pretty similar at port forwarding. Uh, I'm on Virgin, so if you guys are on Virgin then you'll be able to follow, but I'll leave a website in the description below which tells you how to port forward on every single router there is, which is good. So, yeah. Alright guys, as you can see, we are now in. Uh, sorry if you heard the chair speak there again. Uh, we're just gonna come some J. Uh, we're gonna create new survivor. Just let it load in. The music's gone. Is it froze or are we gonna spawn in? We're gonna spawn in. Please spawn in. <laughs> I don't want it to crash. Oh, I heard a bit of volume then. There we are. There we go. Is that Sarko right in front of us? I don't think it is. No, 
that's not all right so um right to enable cheats you have to click the uh, tab button and you want to click and, and you want to type in enable cheats space and then your admin password and this logs you in as an admin so um then what you want to do is you want to click tab again and then you want to put set cheat no set player no set cheat player space true and you'll get up the uh, the uh, actual cheating menu if you want to turn this off you can just um you can just click tab and then put false and then to show that cheats actually work you can just click tab cheat space fly you can do admin cheat but it's just easy to do cheat and then space as you can see cheats do work which is awesome and uh, yeah so now I'll show you guys how to change your name from EXI um, and I will see you guys in a second so yay alright guys quickly before you, I show you how to port forward I'm just going to show you how to change the server name so you want to go into your arc server, steam apps, common, arc, shoot game, binaries, win64 then you want to edit your start server and you want to change session name here to whatever your server name is so in this instance it would be test server and to change the players you just want to put max players and match it up what you want so 10 and that should fix it and now you just want to save and that's that done so now guys what I'm going to show you is how to actually port forward I've closed my server off but yeah so I'm on virgin so I'm going to show you guys how to do it if you're on there and then I'll leave a link in the description below if you're not on virgin to show you how to do it so yeah alright while I enter my WPS pin I'm going to just pause the video and resume it again when I've entered it alright guys so once you're logged into your router it's usually under advanced settings so we're going to go and click that um, you want to go down and on Virgin it's just got port forwarding sorry if you can hear my phone going off it is emails and uh, yeah so these are the ports that you want to forward you want to port forward 27015 and then 27016, 777 and 27020 uh, oh, and you just do this by, I'm not actually going to do it because I've already got them port forwarded but what you want to do is by calling it like arc and then just typing in here 27015 and then 27015 and then to find your this to find this number you just want to quickly go onto CMD uh, and then you want to type in IP config and you just want to look for your IP4 address uh, I'll blow this out but in my instance it is uh, uh, four. so I'd put 4 and then click add rule and then you just do the same for oh I've just gone off it then you just do the same for 27016777 and 27020 and that's pretty much it and there's also a website where you can look at it and it shows you how to do it for each router so I will put that in the description below and that is pretty much it guys you have successfully set up your own ARC server so if you enjoyed this video then please leave a like down below um, if you want more tutorials then comment and which ones you want me to do so thanks for watching um, I hope you enjoyed it and remember if you want me to do more server tutorials and just leave them in the com comment section below. So yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one.